I've got the Moore GE250 Modeling and Multi-Effects Unit. Spoiler alert, <laughs> it's killer. We're going to go over it together today, right here on Geargasms. Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today in the studio, Moore has sent us the GE250. That makes this a sponsored video, and I'll tell you all about that in just a second. But first, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe. This channel is kind of like a steak from Red Lobster. Okay? Celebrate mediocrity. But hey, there ain't nothing mediocre about this Moore GE250, and, I, and I'm not saying that just because they sent it to me for free, freedom. We're going to look at some gorgeous B-roll while we talk about specs, baby. It has 70 high-quality amp models that utilize Moore's nonlinear amp modeling technology from the Micro Preamp series. The tone capture function allows you to sample and capture your real-life amplifier to create brand new digital amp models, and we won't be going over that today, sorry. It has 32 IR Base Factory speaker cab models. They have 10 user slots where you can load in third-party IRs, 11 different effects blocks with over 180 high-quality effects. On the back, of course, you have an auxiliary in for your music player, an expression pedal input, the input for your guitar right next to that, FX loop send and return. It has stereo XLR out with a ground lift. Two outputs, stereo outputs also has left just in mono. It has a headphone output, MIDI in and out. USB, and with low latency, you can actually use this as an interface. Also has editing software that allow you to edit patches and also record your tones and tunes in your music directly from the GE250. It's got an editing value switch, one simple knob, which I love. So we're going to fire this thing up, plug a guitar into it that's also connected to my untalented hands, and see what this thing can do. All right, rig of the day. It's my trusty Charvel DK24 because it does everything. Obviously, we're going straight into this here GE250, straight into my interface. I just skimmed the manual a little bit. I didn't like read the whole thing or anything. The skinny one that comes with it, there's a much more in-depth one online. So I know a little something, but not a lot. And I have messed with this for a few minutes and I found it was very, very easy to navigate everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off just how it would be when you turn it on. It comes to this very first preset. And thank you more for sending me these cool little buttons to put on top of this. I don't know if they would send that those to everyone, but I'm a cool YouTuber, so that's probably why I got them. Thanks. So we're starting off with clean. It's a Fender Deluxe. So we're going to just so easily get into it now. Here's the thing I love the most about this. These buttons cross the top. Oh my goodness. It's just so much easier than clickety clickety through a bunch of shit on the screen with knobs. I love it. You can quickly change. Like right now you're like, all right, it's a US clean, but what's in it? You just hit this display button and ha 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 ha. You can see your signal chain. One cool thing you can do here if you're so inclined, I haven't done it yet, I'll show it to you real quick. Say you want to change your signal chain around, you don't see this in a lot of modelers. Watch this. Say, hey man, FXA, I want it after the amp. I just click this button, I roll it over to the amp, I click it again, and now it's after the amp. Oh, but I didn't mean to do that. Let's put it back in the front. That's what she said. That fast, I figured that out just before I turned cameras on. So you can see the whole signal chain in this. To select it, you want to do that. Now right away, you can tell, you can go right here, you click, and you can start scrolling through all your different amp types. We're going to leave it on US Deluxe. I think it's got too much gain. I push that button to click. Wah, 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 wah. Click again, now it's set there. What, what? Turn it that way, click. Let's add a little presence. <laughs> So already, not knowing squat doodly, I have changed the amp the way I like it. Now to get out of it, you hit the display button again, and then you're back to that. Hit the display button one more time, and you're just back to your preset. You don't need to know nothing. But oopsie, how do we save it? Well, I've not read the manual, but looky there, there's a save button. I'm going to touch it. And it says save as US clean. Now here's where you can rename it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit save again. And I think I saved it. 
Let's find out. Let's look at the amp. I did. See, the settings are the same. That quickly made adjustments. Let's just say, all right, I like that. What's, ha what's going on with the overdrive? It's a boost, just a clean boost. Turn it off. I don't love that, but I don't want it totally off. So what am I going to do? Take a little hair off that. All right. And then I go back. Yeah, because I don't really want it to bark. It's clean. But what else can we put on it, Alan? It's got reverb. Spring. We're using a Deluxe 112 D chord. Do you gotta change? Let's go back. What if it had some modulation? So yeah, there's where we are. We got a phaser, huh? Ooh, suck. But who wants a phaser with a clean deluxe? I don't play country. I want a chorus. Nice. What are we gonna do? We're gonna save it again? Yeah, we is. Oh. And you all know I'm hella stupid, right, right, when it comes to stuff, but I jumped in on this. I think this sound needs some delay. Digital, my friend. I want the time a little lower, a lot, little, lot lower. I want the level a lot lower. We'll leave that on. FXA, what are our choices? Let's find out. Turn to select, we got wah, 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 comps. So yeah, it's going through wahs and comps and phasers and all that. Can I put another distortion there? Noise gate, oh, nope, nope. Oh, click, bit, bit, click. But you're like, oh hell, what do I do now, right? I don't want to save that. Do I panic? Easiest thing to do, put your dumb stupid foot on any other button. Oh, sooky. Now you're in something else. You go back to that, you didn't ass up your clean. Now that we've learned to edit a sound, let's just have fun going through some of these presets. As promised, I'm gonna show you some presets. There's a lot. There's like 40 banks of three or some crazy ass shit like that. Math. That's 120. Some, because it might be 42 banks. That'd be 126. Needless to say, we can't go through all of them. <laughs> we'll go through them, and then if something really floats our boat, we'll look and see what it is. Like I say, this first bank, see how it's open? You just click it, and now you're in that bank. Oh, there it is. We can see it's got a, 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 a distortion there, a red distortion. What kind's it using? Ah, the 808. The amp is the twin, 65 twin. So you see how that works? A little bit of reverb, a little bit of spring. Now we didn't have to look at the amp to know what that is. That's the bass guy. That bass man. Next, pitch lead. Oh, that's nice. It's just got a comp there. It's got an 808. It's got the JCM 800. That's probably I know why I would like it. All oh, that 412 cab. Sweet. Next. Comp detune, huh? Not my jam. Not my jam. What I 
camp is that? The uh, Plexi, again. See, every time, I, I just like Marshalls. Even when I don't know it's a Marshall, I like Marshalls. Is this Kiss like Kiss? Or is it Kiss like <laughs> Let's see if it is Kiss. Kiss Alive, maybe? I don't know. Next. Memory. Did you like that? Oh, that's dry. That's dry. That's what she said. Single coil. Oh, it likes single coil better. Next. Oh, that's horrible. Low gain gent. Oh, we know emotional solo from from the from the the, the, the SD30i. Can we get emotional about Freebird? <laughs> Upper bender. I don't understand that sound. Swelling I am. Oh, the fifth Contra. Is this the old Nintendo video game? Can it free bird? <laughs> I'm sorry. Metal high game. I like that one. Oh, I like. High Watt Chorus. Oh, I'm getting them. I'm getting them fixed vibes. That's so dry. Yeah. I like that. That, that. That's well dialed in for that. It doesn't add much. Just a little something. J900 solo, huh? I'll be the judge of if it's a solo. Oh, that's killer. Mark V lead, huh? Oh, that's awful. That's so much better. That reverb, yo. What were y'all thinking? Pop drive. Now, if you've noticed that little number changing in the in the screen throughout these segments, apparently that's CPU usage. That's so sick. That's even sicker. Oh, 
Jesus. Oh, Plexi, baby, single coil. Let's do that next. Oh, that's a winner. All right, that's not my that's not my deal. We'll just go up. We'll look for something that kills us. We're running out of time. Country Road. I don't like that one. Oh, so I could just do this without hitting the thing. Okay, good, good. Just discovered something new. You don't have to keep hitting bank up. Let's just go through them. Oh, let's do that acoustic. Let's see if that really does. Let's do... Uh... <laughs> All right. That was convincing. Uh, brutal rig. <laughs> that sounds like the metal zone. And we'll finish strong. Let's just find something killer. Punk drop. Oh, that's actually nice. So that's just a taste of the presets. Just a taste. Doesn't that sound nice? What have I done differently? I have hooked this up to, you can't see it in the shot, I don't think. Line 6 Amplify 75. Wait, wait, wait. I'm using it as an FRFR. Hear me out. I just took a preset. I turned everything off in it, and I saved it to, to hardware channel 4. So I'm using that with this with that and that with this. Going straight into there, I got a mic in front of that SM57, in front of the Amplify, so we are live in the room now. So what we'll do now is, we haven't talked about the rhythm. It's got a little built-in drum machine, yo. Watch this. If you want to try different styles, same old knob, you click it in there, type rhythm. Oh, you can do metronome. So it has a metronome. See what kind of styles we got. Pop. All right, say we like that funk, right, right? So then we come over here. What is this? Let's find out. Just different beats. Go to rock. Let's see what it sounds like. today we learned that although the Moore GE 250 is kind of small it's super big when it comes to functions and features we also learned that even a dipshit like me can easily and quickly get up and running and be editing and saving patches without even cracking the manual and finally what we didn't learn and I'm sorry because I'm gonna go back and figure it out is the tone capture function I really want to see how that works and also we didn't look at the looper as always I thank you for the time that you spend with the channel please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button you got some ratty ass ghetto section eight government cheese eating friends. Send them here. They're going to fit right in here with us. You can buy a t-shirt, a coffee mug, a beer glass, a pillow, or even leggings if you'd like to support the channel. Links in the description. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Joan Jett about it. She gets hella pissed off when people mistake her for Sinead O'Connor. Especially now. Aww. But play more guitar. Watch less of this and keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasms.